Hello everybody, and once again, welcome back to Detention for Part 3. Now, um, I don't know exactly where I am. I, I thought at first that maybe I've gone back in the past to the auditorium, uh, but I don't think so, actually, because, well, when I look at this, it says it's the command post in the middle of a field. So, yeah, I'm not so sure about that, really. It's, it seems to be sort of like raining paper planes, which is really, really weird. I might be dreaming, I might not be dreaming, I'm just not sure right now. Um, let's go to the left to begin with, and let's see what we find. Do we find anything? Okay, I mean, there's no banyan tree or anything around here, so this probably isn't the auditorium. I probably haven't gone back in the past. But there is nothing here. The field's actually just collapsed here. Everything's flooded into a river of crimson mud. Or blood, maybe. Just like before. There doesn't seem to be an end. You might be dreaming. I don't know. I just don't know. It seems that left isn't the way to go, so let's try right instead. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a very similar looking command post to the auditorium, maybe. It, I don't know. So, over here. Yeah, paper planes just keep landing. It's very, very odd. Got some flags over here, I think. Yeah, our flagpole stand. The ropes keep knocking on the poles. Right. Seriously. If I just sort of stand still, just look at the raindrops. Don't they look like paper planes to you? Maybe that's what they're meant to be. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's paper planes. That's crazy. Some really interesting visuals in this game. Oh, hello. Alright, that wasn't the auditorium. This is somewhere completely different. This isn't the school, is it? What is this? An old brick building we used to call the Red House. The Japanese used this place as a barracks during their occupation. Alright, oh, okay. Is there a way in? Ah. <laughs> nice icon. Go on. Wander in. No, this isn't the school. Interesting. We did see some red brick work, actually, when we were running away from the counsellor. I guess we somehow ran this way. <laughs> What do these signs say? What does this writing say? I don't know. It's a bit of a shame, really. Um, okay, bit of a choice. Left, right. Let's go left again. Maybe we'll have better luck. Alright, we're starting off with uh, another boarded up door. It's completely blocked. This should be the puppetry club's workshop. Right, okay. So this is still very close to the school. I guess that field out there was the school field. And, uh, and what's this? Covered in blood. A puppet theatre on a hand-drawn cart. During summer break, the boys in class would use this as their battle tank. Unfortunately, they quickly broke the wheels. <laughs> There's something resting on it. What is that? It's a note. Oh, oh, another illustration. Oh, okay, that's another clue then, isn't it? Yeah. An illustration of the Lantern Spectre. Right. If you chance upon a Lantern Spirit, avert your gaze and stand unmoving. When it comes near, still your breath. Do not panic and it will keep on moving. Alright, so it's a different type of lingered. Uh, so I've got to not look at it, and I've got to stand still and hold my breath. Okay. Alright. I guess I should look out for lanterns. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's try this. We've got a staircase as well. Um, right, where is this? What the hell? Oh, we can have a look. Are they vi- The glass beakers here are from our biology lab. They're, oh, they're holding puppets inside. I was thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a little head in there. But they're puppets. It's fine. It's fine. It's- It's okay. Alright. Oh, I see. You've got puppets over there. Lots and lots of books. Ooh. Did I do that? I don't know. Lots and lots of puppets just hanging up there. A large mass of puppets hanging from the ceiling. Got a broom there? No? Don't want to sweep up or anything? Got a kiln? A little furnace? Something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a brick furnace. I remember back then, Mum said she burned spirit money to bless our health and good fortune. I always thought of it as closer to dealing with the devil. <laughs> Bit of black magic or something, maybe. Yeah. Uh, spirit money? Okay, it doesn't say anything different. Um... I guess I need to burn something. Do I need to find some of this money? Can I burn the pendant? That seems like the worst idea possible right now, but let's give it a try. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Maybe that's a good thing. What's this? Oh, it just says the same thing? Never mind. Okay, well, I'll, I'll come back, I suppose, when I have something to burn. Is that it? That's it. 
It's just the darkness to my left. So, yep, all right, let's, um, yeah, let's come back when I've got something I want to burn. I guess I am the one knocking those puppets. Nothing over to the right, no. Shame I don't still have my candle, really, but I don't know. It's all been very weird. In the last ten minutes, I've kind of, like, teleported all over the place. Right. What are we going to do? We're going to go up? We're going to go down? Or are we going to stay on this floor? Let's stay on this floor, actually. Let's try this door. Never mind. It's locked from the other side. That would lead to the atrium. The atrium, eh? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, before we go up, before we go down, let's actually go to the right side of this red brick building. This red house building. And see what we find. Okay. Is that something to do with that lantern spirit? Hmm. Ooh. Very nice. What is that? Just carved in stone? Oh, hang on. What's this? We got something over here. Is it an envelope? It's another note. Okay. Another illustration of Hai Bai Wu Chang. Black and white in permanence. According to legends, they are two ancient officials. During a routine inspection, misfortune befell them and they perished trying to protect one another. The Lord of the Dead, seeing their loyalty, appointed them the duty of messengers of death. It was then that people who died would see them arrive to claim their souls. Are you sure then are like ex-members of KISS or something? Because look at those tongues. Is he licking a sword? <laughs> Weird. Hi bye Wu Chang, okay. Alright, well, let's hope we don't see them, I suppose. Because that might mean we're dying. And there's another save point. You're too kind, game. Shame we can't really examine this. I'd love to know what this says. Ah. Oh, it's them, isn't it? What's up with this door? Let's have a look at it. Okay. Right. Oh, hang on. Yeah, two figures are carved on the door. These are supposed to be guardians, but they look more like Hai Bai Wu Chang. Their hands look like they should be holding something. Yeah, what could they be missing? I think one of them is missing a sword. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What was it, a sword? It definitely looks like a little toy sword, and the other one's carrying what looks to be a feather duster or a, or a fan. A, something like that. Yeah, you should have the sword, and you should have the fan, I think. Okay, uh, well, again, I think I'll just have to come back. And that's it. So there's only a staircase on the left side of this building. It's kind of good to know. Um, Alright, what are we going to do? We're going to go down? We're going to go up? I kind of want to go up first, to be honest. Leave the basement for later. I haven't seen any lingered around here. Any spirits. Yet. I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Maybe they're staying upstairs. Let's find out. Okay. Uh, okay, let's actually have a look at this to start with. Is that, like, locked up or something? This goes up to the roof. It is locked. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be there otherwise. Uh, okay. The music's come back. I'm sure there's something on this floor I need to worry about. So let's take this steady. Roots are growing out of the seams. The door is completely blocked. If only I had an axe or something. Can't look through these windows. There's curtains on the other side as well, I can see. Little by little. Same problem. Roots growing out. A pungent, mossy smell permeates. Yeah, no chance. What about this one? Looks like there's moss growing on this one, but I can actually open it. Okay. Got a projector. What else we got? What am I looking at here? Various films on the rack. They all seem to be tangled together. Uh, right, okay. Now, let's see. Do I have to, uh... Change the film? Turn this off? The film in the media room is being projected from here. Our military education class often played political propaganda. The instructor always has a million things to say about whatever happens in the film. Are there any other films I can play? Well, I assume so. Well, let's take another look at this. Maybe now I can pick one off the shelf? Nah, they're still all tangled together. I guess, you know, I don't want to put the effort in to untangle them, so... Yeah, nothing really takes my fancy. And I'm not carrying anything right now, so... Something else we'll have to come back to, I think. 
Right. Sure. And I think that's pretty much it. Nothing on this desk in the foreground. We can't actually have a look in through that hole, so... I don't know, I guess there's there's a media room to the right somewhere? Hmm. I wouldn't be so concerned about the lighting if I didn't pick up that illustration. But I did, you know? <laughs> okay. And that. Things just moving, it's weird. And yes, this is the media room. If we're lucky, we get to watch a movie as part of the lecture. It's also great for sneaking in now. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Oh. I was half expecting it to be locked. Right, what were you watching? Close up of someone's face? Is that a fucking grave? Hang on, is that... Is that another food offering? Let's take a look. That could be a food offering there? Oh no, no, not quite. That's not rice this time. What is it? Just... Oh, incense, I think? An unmarked grave embedded in the middle of the room. Shouldn't be anything buried underneath. No, well, there shouldn't be. There are three unlit incense sticks here. Do I take them, or do I leave? Oh, go on then, let's take them. I'll regret it later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got some incense. That's great. We got a name on the grave now? The grave of Wei Chung Ting. All oh, right. Wait, he already... Someone's already buried him? Is the legacy of the deceased always just a mere rock? Wait, 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 wait. How long were you sitting on that chair asleep? <laughs> How long did it take you to recover? I... I'm still pretty sure she's dreaming, I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got the incense sticks. Brilliant. Let's back away. Was there writing on the blackboard before? I, I don't know. Let's have a look. What does it say? When did all this writing appear? Yeah, just moments ago, I think. Snitcher? Is this about an informer? What, regarding communism? I suppose, yeah. The slogan reads, Patriotism demands of us sustained sacrifice. It sure does. This is a strange film. I don't really think I'm getting anything out of it, really. Who's that meant to be? Again, it looks like there's nothing in the foreground, so let's just let's just leave. Okay. Let's just keep going to the right. Ah, oh, bloody lanterns. <laughs> Had to be bloody lanterns, didn't it? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell, that really got me. Okay, so. Yeah, stand still, avert your gaze, and hold your breath. Like, now. It'll just pass me by. Ooh. He knows. He goddamn knows. Can I move? I don't want to move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Okay. And he just fades away. Whew! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did think, just for a split second, that lantern's a bit strange. I don't remember seeing a lantern there, and then, wow, I saw the stick, and then I saw how tall he was. Wow. That was cool. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go downstairs. That's the only place to go now, isn't it? What do I do with the incense sticks? Maybe I need to put them in the furnace? Light them up? Or... <laughs> Can I use them as lockpicks, I wonder? Probably not. You know what? You... I say that, but... It doesn't do anything. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, downstairs we go. Some sort of basement level? Yeah. Yeah, a flooded basement. What is that? A kneeling figure with a wooden token on its back. Can't really tell who it is with a hood in its head. This is like a it's a cell, it's a prison? What's this? Wooden stocks, it pretty much is a prison. Wooden stocks and shackles up here as well. A bit of dried blood on the edges. There's someone else there as well. And yeah, another kneeling figure. There's some blood on the hood. This is really, really weird. 
Okay. What's oh hang on, what's all this about? Go on. Oh, are they incense sticks? Yeah, okay. The temple's divine incense burner. Before we pray, Mum always lights three incense sticks. What a coincidence, I think I've got three myself. She tells the gods her name and birthplace, then launches into a spiritual drivel. <laughs> she often lays her many problems and wishes upon them. Why does she not tell a real person? Instead, they fall upon an invisible god. Uh. Well, I've got three. I suppose I should add them to the pile. Yeah, I'd do as Mum does, with incense in hand. Ignoring the kinds of prayers she'd prefer, I ask the gods only for a way to live as myself. And let's see how they respond. What was that? What was that sound? Is that one of the doors opening? Uh, maybe? I'd tell you what, let's just continue going right. Oh dear. This one's open, and the cell's empty. It smells like rotting plants. Looks like more stocks and stuff, yeah. What kind of criminals do they lock up here? <laughs> Have they been here since the occupation or something? Another kneeling figure. Who are they supposed to be? Are they are they statues or actually people? Are they moving? I, I, I think one of them was maybe moving before. I don't know, though. Okay, we have a door. We've also... Okay, it's like another barricade. We've also got something over here sitting on this table, though. Spirit money! Right, I can go back to the furnace with that. Can we open this door? It's a metal door. And it's locked. That's a no. That's a no. Okay, and that's as far as we go. Okay. Ooh. What the hell was that? Another lighting problem? Should I be, like, walking backwards towards the stairs now? Is there going to be, like, another lantern in my face? Oh! Have a look at it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. Maybe I should hold my breath. Oh, it's gone. Weird. Uh, yeah, okay. Spirit money. Let's just get the hell out of here, I think, or... I don't know. I did hear something this way, didn't I? What was it? It was this one. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. What do you got there? The prison gate is open, and the wood token on the statue's back is loose, so I'm gonna take it and, uh... Oh, yeah! That's... that's the sword, isn't it? For the, the guy on the left. So we're still looking for a fan, I think. But yeah, that, that must go on the door. And I assume when we find both of those, sort of tokens, we can get through. Where was the I think the furnace was actually in this room here, wasn't it? This is a fun game, you know. Quite cheap as well, really. Hopefully it lasts uh, a good long time, but who knows. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm still quite new to this game, so I don't know exactly what sound effects and what's part of the music. Here we are then. This is where this goes. Oh, otherworldly spirits, I offer this spirit money to ask for your protection. Perhaps in a similar way I'd pay a gangster not to loot my shop. Oh. Oh! The, the fire went out. That's the other one, isn't it? The other one for the right side of the door. Is it a fan? It looks like it. The furnace is the furnace has suddenly gone cold. There's something in there. How can this be? It should have been reduced to ashes if it was inside. Maybe it's made of stone, or maybe not. No, it's, it's a feathered fan. So I was kind of right. I was right in saying it was a feather duster, and it was a fan. Combination of the two. Uh, okay. Well, we're going back to that door then, aren't we? Mm, that's not me. Whoa, whoa! No! Was I just killed by puppets? Shit, I didn't save! I assume that's a death. I don't know. I really don't know. Was that meant to happen? Where are we? Oh, hang on. Are we back at the school? What? Uh, this is the broken bridge, isn't it? Maybe? I... well, I don't know. Let's... yeah, let's go this way. I don't 
don't really know. Yeah, up the hill. Wasn't there a guard station there, though? Oh, hello. Uh, these human-like objects are filled with evil over time. It's like an old woman or something. Deal with them as with the lingered. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. Maybe I should have held my breath going under there or something. Huh. Foul thoughts gather and accumulate until they one day take take on a life of their own. They begin to twist into a monstrous storm. What are we in? Yeah, okay, so that was just a death, I think. It was bound to happen sooner or later, right. So let's do this again, but this time, hold your damn breath. It seems to be working. But how big are those lungs of yours? Oh my god. It's getting close, it's getting close. <sighs> I held that for as long as I possibly could there. Just about made it, wow. Alright, okay. Still got the items and everything? Brilliant. Probably should have checked that before I held my breath. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's go over to that door on the right side. I don't really want to keep clicking on the right side of the screen and just, like, keep continuously running, because I might bump into that lantern guy again, or another lingered. So, I'm just doing this sort of step-by-step, screen-by-screen, taking it steady, taking it kind of slow. Hope you don't mind. Well, I've got there safely. Brilliant. Okay, so, what did I say? I think this one has the fan. Yeah, that's right, and then this one has the sword. There you are. A chill air drifts inward. Goodness gracious me, okay. Seeing as there is a save point just to my left, I am going to use it, so this is where I'm going to end part three. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in part four, where we'll explore the rest of the Red House. See you then. If I just sort of stand still, just look at the raindrops. Don't they look like paper planes to you? Maybe that's what they're meant to be. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's paper planes. The glass beakers here are from our biology lab. They're, oh, they're holding puppets inside. I was thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a little head in there. Hmm. I wouldn't be so concerned about the lighting if I didn't pick up that illustration. But I did, you know? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. Fucking hell, that really got me. Okay, so. Ooh. He knows. And let's see how they respond. What was that? That's as far as we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> That's not me. Whoa, whoa! No! Was I just killed by puppets?